Hello everybody, welcome back to Lisa Michelle, Beyond the Scale. As you can see, I am beyond the scale. I am in my room, there's my cat, he can't get still. I said, you know what, I've been waiting all day to make this video, and I said, you're just going to be in it because I don't care. But that is Mr. Um, Sky over there, so he's walking around and doing his thing, and I'm doing mine, so I told him to get still, but he won't get still. Anyway. I want to talk about a few things that's been going on with me in 2021. Just to recap, this is my Healthy Journey page, and I am Lisa Michelle, and I'm Beyond the Scale. Well, I got Beyond the Scale because I used to go to Weight Watchers quite a few years ago, and it was a program that we were on, Beyond the Scale. So basically, being Beyond the Scale means that you're not tied to the scale all the time and you got to be knowing how much you weigh. But I took it a step further and for me, I am type 2 diabetic and I have high blood pressure. So last year in 2021, I decided that since my insurance got canceled right when coronavirus came and I tried to check in with my... um health insurance people to renew it and I sent all the paperwork in well later on when everybody returned back to work they said guess what your insurance has been canceled oh I was pissed so guess what I decided I'm not gonna be fooling with you all I'm gonna eat whatever it is I want to eat who does that you don't do that diabetic you don't get to eat whatever you want this is the way it is it's a hard reality, y'all. But anywho, so I continued to eat a whole bunch of nonsense and everything. And I'm just like, Whoa, nonsense. So let's say from April all the way to September. April all the way to September, I wasn't taking care of my type 2 diabetes and I had suffered a mini stroke, but I didn't know it. And my wife of 15 plus years told me, oh, you getting in the car because you walking funny and you sliding across this kitchen, dragging your whole left side of your body. I was dragging my arm. I had my arm up like this. It felt heavy and my leg felt heavy and my mouth was kind of kind of on the edge of crooked, but not severely crooked. I had a mini stroke. They have like maybe like three different kind of strokes. So I had the mini stroke, but it's not many in any respect. They treated me very well. I went to, uh, where was that? Fullerton Hospital. Yeah, I think it was Fullerton Hospital. Anyway, they're the number one hospital to take care of people who have had a stroke. Another cat trying to get into. This is what happens when you wait at, late at night because guess what? These cats been sleep all day. But anywho, getting back to me. So uh, when I got admitted into the ER, I told them my, my symptoms at the front door. I had my mask on and everything. And do you know they rushed me in that hospital and I was going all through the waiting room. People looked like they've been waiting in there for all day and on death's bed like this. <sighs> Saw some lady like this in the chair, in that waiting room, a whole bunch of people. They whisked me back there. It had to be about seven doctors and a few nurses all um, asking me what happened and how did I feel and all these wonderful things that they do. And I had to repeat these sentences and different phrases to make sure that I can comprehend. Well, long story short, I suffered a mini stroke. Um, the right side of my... Um, nerve my carotid nerve back here is on the back of your neck well your right side affects your left side of your body so my left side was affected and then turned out i had when i left the hospital i found out a little later that i had a blockage also on the left side but nothing happened on the right side but when i got admitted to the er my blood sugar was 400 which is horrible for a diabetic 
and my high blood pressure, which is high. Um, I wasn't taking no medicine because I didn't have any insurance. So my blood pressure was 235 over 115, which is just oh, walking dead, I tell you. Anyway, I was taken very good care of, but I got really serious about my food intake and what I was eating, the kind of things I was eating, how much of it I was eating, and preparations and all kind of stuff. I wasn't even drinking coffee, okay, because I just didn't want no trouble. I have coffee today, and I usually only have one cup, so yeah. Um, being diabetic is um, difficult, to say the least, and... I have to watch everything I'm eating. Well, I started off at uh, about 192 last year and my birthday September 10th. So I was getting out of the hospital on my birthday in 2020. Okay. Not last year. Been, ooh, time is passing. Um, it was 2020, September 2020, September 10th. I got out of the hospital at 5 p.m. That's my birthday, and I didn't have any cake because I couldn't. And this year, I got to celebrate being a one-year stroke survivor, and here I am, all in all my splendor. Well, with my food intake and me doing what I'm supposed to do and going walking and eating the things that I'm supposed to eat in moderation and portion control and all these things, food prep, a lot of work. You get lazy after a while. It happens to everybody. So I would say I got down to about 164, which lasted for a whole three weeks. Usually when I'll get down to a, a nice or wait for myself, um, it'll last for about a week or a few days. But three weeks is a long time. But soon after that, I start slipping down the slippery pole and went on back into the 170s. I've been in the 170s for months and months and months and months. And no matter what I seem to do, it wouldn't break. Well, it turns out I'm doing a lot of things that I wasn't doing when I first had the mini stroke. So I was um, having portion control, watching every little thing that I ate, drinking a whole bunch of water, which I don't drink a lot of water now. I don't, it's boring. I got even tired of the flavor packets or the infused water. I know everything it is that I need to do for me, but I wasn't doing it. So here lately, I wasn't doing it. So I have uh, gained weight. So I told you I was 164. I stayed in the 170s, 170, 175, 176, 172, 173, 173, 173, 173, 175. So it's like, up and down with the 170s. So I know some of you wish you were stuck in the 170s, but guess what? In 2006, I used to be 243 pounds. I'm only 5'1", and that's awful. So when I tell you, I don't want to go back to being that person anymore. I don't want to be a juicy, juicy Lisa. I just want to maintain my weight. I want to look nice in my clothes. And I just want to be happy and healthy and stay here. I have things that I need to do because I'm a fabulous artist and I don't have time for play play. Okay. So I am officially today, every day my weight has been going up because I wouldn't do what I'm supposed to do. Going to the hamburger stand. Oh, I'll just get a burrito. It's earlier in the day. I can have that and be okay. Oh, I'll just have a slice of toast with with my eggs, my big giant egg omelet. No, 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 those carbs like that, tortillas and bread and all that stuff. It doesn't work well with me. Oh, I'll just have these potato tacos well, even earlier in the day. Guess what? The potato tacos messed me up too because it was potatoes. The potatoes just stick to my ribs, okay? So anyway, this morning officially on the 1st of January, 2022, I have came to the grand total of 184 pounds even. Oh, about last week I was 170 something, but it's climbing up because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So I woke up this morning determined and I am 
have a renewal over my heart. And I said, you know what? All year you've been getting on the scale because every day, because if I don't get on the scale every day, it creep up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds like it's doing right now. And guess what? If I never got on the scale, I wouldn't know that any of that was going on. So it's really important to get on the scale. Some people don't want to get on the scale and they avoid it. I used to avoid it like the plague, but I get on now every day, no matter what, and I pay the piper. So um, I wrote a few notes today. I woke up all motivated and everything. I usually have a premier protein drink. No, I'm not endorsing them, but I love those drinks. Premier protein shake, and I have different variety of flavors, and they have uh, 30 grams of protein, which is just awesome because it keeps you full. That protein keep, helps keep you full. But what I noticed is that when I was taking care of myself better uh, after I had the stroke, I was eating smaller meals throughout the day. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me, y'all. I was eating smaller meals throughout the day and I had a decent breakfast, lunch, dinner, and in between I had two snacks or so. And I was drinking a whole bunch of water and herbal tea. The herbal tea counts for your water intake as well, so it's good to keep that herbal tea on hand. And I've discovered monk fruit sugar this year that I get from Winco. No, I'm not endorsing Winco markets either, but it's bulk sugar this uh sugar-free sugar if you want to say it's made out of monk fruit looks like regular granulated sugar but it's not and it doesn't affect your blood sugar at least it's not affecting mine so that's a disclaimer um i decided i was going to do what i was supposed to do today and see how long it takes me to get this weight off of me because guess what i look cute in my size extra large clothes i'm still wearing them but Oh, they're a little snug. Just a pinch bit snug. They ain't tight, but they're getting snuggly. So I don't want to be snuggly. I want to be cutely. So that's who I'm, what I'm going to do and who I'm going to be. So it takes effort in order for all that to be jumping off. So I'm going to switch it up. I wrote these notes here on this notepad. And I wrote on here, what are you really eating? Well, what I was really eating was Oh, I'll have the bean and cheese burrito. Oh, the next day. Oh, we'll go to the burger stand. I don't feel like cooking. I'll just have the stack of pancakes and won't eat the rest of the day. Can't do that. Then I've been having that premier protein shake in the morning and then won't eat all day and then decide, oh, I'll have some dinner right around four o'clock or so. And then guess what? So I've gained weight, but this is my page. I'm transparent. I don't be hiding nothing. I ain't nothing to hide because I was cute. Anywho, but I want to be healthy and cute. So with me being to like in the 160s, that was a really good weight for me because I don't know if you all know it, but I'm 55 years young and I don't have to be no 135 or whatever they talking about on those charts, those weight charts. I'm an older female, I'm pre-senior, and I don't need to be all wasted down to no thick, I can't even talk, I'm irritated, stick person, okay, which I, I don't think that's going to happen in my lifetime, anywho, so, huh. but forgive me, y'all, mind you, it's not late, I, I've, I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning, because my body just wakes up at that time, so. I tend to yawn and it's early. So that's why I go to bed early and take care of myself. I'm usually down by 9 o'clock. I think it's only about like 6 something right now in sunny Southern California, which is freezing cold right now. So what are you really eating? That's what I was really eating and not drinking any water. And I take about 9 pills for my diabetes every day, total in the night, and 8 units of insulin, which I was taking 30 last year now i'm taking eight and my a1c which is your three month blood sugar test that you can't cheat on um i started off at 12 in 2020 i started off at the blood sugar 
A1C test of 12, and now I, I had got down to 6.5, but I'm 6.8, so we got to fix that. I can't, but um, I'm doing well, y'all. I am doing well. I'm just rambling because there's so much information to give y'all. Um, why are you gaining weight? That's why. Are you drinking enough water? No, I barely drink any water. It's boring, but I have to make myself drink it. I've drink I've drank uh two big large glasses about this big today. So I might have one more so I could be up all night using the bathroom. <laughs> Let's see. Are you moving your body? I move my body to get up and go get something else to eat. I move my body to go to the bathroom, which I'm not going too much because guess what? I'm not drinking any water. Not enough. And if you don't drink enough water, your bowels, my friend told me this, I sound all educated. Your bowels will not move properly if you are not drinking enough water because you dry and you constipated. So the, the uh, whatever your uh, waste is packing up in your in your colon and all that stuff. So you need to be able to drink a lot of water so you can move your bowels. Bowels will not move. Trust me, I know it's not good. Um, get moving. I'm an artist and I paint. I do digital art and I make uh, marijuana smoking puffers. I'm putting my gloves on so I can show you those real quick. But I'm sitting down, I'm an artist and a graphic designer, and I um, sit down a lot, like I'm doing right now, giving this video. But um, I don't hardly move enough. And what I noticed is when it was warmer, I was going out walking every day. It's cold as you know what, it's outside. I'm not going nowhere. So I'm gonna have to get somebody uh, app, free app, and go ahead on and work out. Because my body needs to move, I really, really need to move my body because it's going to help me in the long run and it says are you eating out oh yes have i been my god we already started out of again y'all ah, forgive me y'all i have been making my marijuana smoking puffers let me move the candle out of the way that you all can't see this is the lemon cake what you all don't know, in real life, I do not like lemon cake. I despise the taste of lemon in a cake or cookies. Now, I like lemon meringue pie. I like lemon candy and I like lemonade. But cake and cookies, something about it, I don't know what it is. It's just too, I don't know, too bright tasting or something. But this is the lemon cake that I made and it got little lemon slices on the top. So what you do is you put your blunt in this larger hole, put it in there, and then you puff on this part, on the bottom part, the smaller hole. These are marijuana smoking stones. They're nothing new, but mine are new because I make mine look appealing to the eye and out of different um, food items. I have some that look like slices of pizza, hamburgers, all kind of stuff. You have to go on my page on Instagram and Facebook. You can head on over to my website too, first of all, mjpuffers.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at mjpuffers. And you can go check out and see how these actually work. I'm not gonna tell y'all about it all here. But this is the lemon cake. I have a slice of chocolate cake. I like cake, y'all, so I can create cake. I don't, since I'm not eating it, I might as well create it. I have um, cherry chip cake, a little cute cherry right there on the back. So that's cherry chip. I haven't named this one yet. Probably Blueberry Hill or something. Ain't no blueberries on it, but you get the drift. So that's what that looks like. I have these. This was together, but their shapes 
got a little different when it cooked. But these are cheese wedges. So these are puffers also individually. And I have a hand painted Batman one that I created. So that's it. But oh, just a minute, I dropped something. Okay, I got it. So with all that being said, I was on online most of the morning and I was gonna sign up with my fitness pal. I'm on a fixed income, I'm on a budget, and I signed all the way up to my fitness pal and everything, and oh sure, they said it's free, but they don't tell you that it's a free trial. So guess what? After your free month trial, they want your credit card information right off, because they're not playing with you, and you have to pay for it. So it was $79.99 for the year, that's fine if you can afford that. I can't. I not no. I have cats and a, and, a, and a life and bills to pay just like everybody else. I don't have it like that. So I'm not going to pay. I want the free one, but it's only a trial. And I signed up for another one, and that was the same setup. So I'm going to have to go old school and write this stuff down in a physical book and do what I need to do because it's not impossible they didn't have all the computers and apps and stuff when I was younger. They just didn't exist. So how about I'm going to pretend they don't exist now and I'm going to be writing and get me some little cute book from the uh, store and write all my little stuff in and everything. So I have a, a cute book that I got from Daiso Japan. And it has a whole bunch of um, blood sugars and blood pressures all through the year custom bookmark I made. I had a uh, watercolor. Um, just all of my information for a whole entire year is in this book. Now let me make sure that it was 2020 when I started this book because with that stroke you have a lot of memory issues and things going on and you don't remember a lot of things. It's really deep. So as far as I know it's only been a year but turns out it's been years because I started this book September 13th 2020 wow I'll tell you that's deep now guess what today is January 1st 2022 so that's 20 21 22 so this is going to be the second year so i could say i have been maintaining that 170 something but i just jumped over the uh over the rainbow and now i'm 184 but that won't last long because i know what i need to do and i wasn't doing it so don't fool yourself because you could easily forget and say oh i didn't have that much to eat yeah girl i'm gonna go out with you boop 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 we're gonna go eat i like to eat when i go out that's my high times child but I can't do that, so I need to learn how to stay. No, I've been to a few parties within these past two years, and can't do all that. It's just awful. Oh, I had Christmas at my mom's house. They had waffles, ham, tamale. Just... Anyway, I got to get all that stuff out of my system, so I'll be okay. But I wanted to let you all know that I am still here. I've been around. I haven't been around for you, but I'm showing up for me and I got to get moving and get my eating plan right. So I made some um, chili tonight and I had them in um, those long lettuce leaves and put it in there and made me a, a lettuce wrap chili burrito of sorts because I had cheese in it. And I had a salad on the side, even though the lettuce wrap was lettuce. And a cup of hot tea. So, that was my first meal of the day because this morning I had the Premier Protein Shake. I was supposed to have a lot more meals, smaller meals throughout the day, but had to go to the grocery store and have anything that I needed. 
to eat on my plan. So tomorrow will be a better day. I will be spending it food prepping. So I will check back in with you good people. And I found my carb counting book. It has a lot of good information in here, y'all. So if you need any tips, hit me up in the messages below. So with all that being said, I'm getting ready to sign out. And I'm going to go do some me time and draw and stuff and do what I need to do. And I Thank you all for tuning into my channel. If you know somebody that would like this content, please click like, share, and subscribe. Please share. Lisa Michelle, Beyond the Scale. I'm here. I'm showing up for myself. And you show up for you. And we can do this together. Let me know if you want to join up with me. Because I really need like a, a buddy to help me be accountable for what I'm doing. So, But if I can't, guess what? I'm going to show up for me. I'm going to be accountable for me. So here I am. Being accountable. Put it on your YouTube page and be transparent. You have documentation. So today I am 180. Four even. So we'll see what happens. And today is January the 1st, 2020. Have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, midday, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. Sunny Southern California here. Peace.